so for those are joining us welcome back so this is a uh, 2023 computer studies project uh, it's all about uh, creating a, a working system to showcase uh, your skills in computer, computer studies so let's begin part one so in this part we shall be talking about the overview of the system that is a uh, getting to understand how the system should be working just need to know how the system should be working then the next video we shall be talking about uh, the tables then you move on to relationship queries after queries you move on to the forms after forms reports then you compile the final system and also between uh, as we wish as we shall be called, creating all these uh, milestones or sections we shall also be working on the documentation part that is uh the the write up or what we said the documentation of the system so here 2023 kcc so this this year system is called maringo sports club system so i'll actually quickly go through this the the question paper then after that i shall i shall be highlighting the key parts as we analyze the system so let me just quickly run through the question paper Maringo Sports Club was formed by Maringo County with the intention of developing talent among the youths within the county in various games the club enrolls youths of ages 12 to 35 years for any of the activities offered the games offered include swimming, hockey, lawn tennis, table tennis, darts, badminton, volleyball, basketball, netball football, baseball, rugby, pool, chess, and draft. During registration, the youths are required to provide the following details. Full name, gender, next of kin, date of birth, contact details, sub-counties, school or college, various games of interest in order of their priority, and other details such as weight, height, and special needs. The youths can be enrolled as a group through their school, colleges or religious organizations and may be or may also enrolled as individuals. Individual membership fee is uh, 1,000 Kenyan shillings and groups are required to pay a membership fee of 500 Kenyan shillings per person. The enrolled members are categorized into three groups, namely the minor consisting of members who are of ages 12 to 17 years, the middle group who are of ages 18 to 25 years, and the seniors who are of ages 26 to 35 years. The sports club offers various sporting items at a fee for the items are available at the club store. A member can purchase any of the items by cash or mobile money transfer. The items include so bloomer at 250 Kenyan shillings, game shots at 750 Kenyan shillings, hockey stick at 2000 Kenyan shillings, socks at 350 Kenyan shillings, sports shoes at uh, Sports shoes ranging from 1,000 to 4,000 Kenyan shillings, track suit at 1,000 Kenyan shillings, t shirt at 800 Kenyan shillings, wrapper at 450 Kenyan shillings. If a member purchases items of a value exceeding 10,000 Kenyan shillings, a discount of 5% is offered. The stock clerk is required to maintain records of the items sold and the, it and the stock in the store. If the stock level of any item drops to 20% of its maximum stock level, the clerk is expected to alert the club management to reorder the item. Each game has a patron whose duties include facilitating events within the club and with other external teams. If a team is required to play against an external team, each member in the team is required to pay a facilitation fee of 500 Kenyan shillings. The patron is paid 20% of the, the total facilitation fee as commission. The patron is also responsible for selecting a game captain from the members. The captain is responsible for collecting and returning various sports equipments from the store to facilitate the game. In case of any loss or damage to the equipment, the captain and the team members are surcharged at the market value of, it, of the equipment plus 10% of its value. Develop a well documented computer system for the club's transaction that will be able to Number one, maintain details of the club members and their roles. Number two, maintain details of sports in the club. Number three, maintain records of items in the store. Number four, maintain records of items purchased and their subsequent stock levels. 
number five these are maintain records of all facilitation fee for all sports events number six is a uh, compute each of the following total membership fee discounted prices total amount for items bought surcharge fee for lost or damaged equipment facilitation fee patrons commission total income for the club and finally generate appropriate reports so that was a, a brief reading through the system so let us start to analyze the question paper so we start with the Marinko Sports Act was formed by Marinko County. So the first paragraph, there is no major, major aspect to the documentation, but it's actually talking about uh, actually the title of the system, just Marinko Sports Club. So the second part, these were now things that are getting interesting. So let us start by highlighting that. So, in the second lab, this talks about uh, the age, the age, uh, the age group. Let me just highlight it differently. So, for you to be part of uh, the club, you must be between twelve to thirty-five years. That is uh, the part key, the first uh, key point. Then the next key point is uh, the games offered. So, the games offered by the club these are uh, uh, swimming, hockey. Lawn tennis, table tennis, darts, badminton, volleyball, basketball, netball, football, baseball, rugby, pool, chess, and draft. So those are the games that we shall be considering when generating the system. So that is one from paragraph two. Paragraph three, that's our key, a key plan, a key plan. so let us highlight paragraph three. Sorry, different color. You register and the user are required to provide the following details. So these are the details that we shall that shall be provided by the youths which we shall be registering for the uh, for the club. So the the details are uh, let me just pick a color. So details are the full name, the gender, the next of kin, date of birth, contact details, sub county, school or college, various games of uh, interest and priority, and other details such as weight, height, and special needs. Those are the details that should be recorded when registering uh, any sports club or a youth to the sports club. Not not sports club, registering a group or a youth, individual member to the club. Okay, then next is uh, here is where we actually, they have actually defined the, the various options of joining the club. So you can either be part of a group which uh, group should be through a school, college, or a religious organization that is either a church or anything. So, yeah. Then, you can also register as an individual. So those are the two options of registering into the club either through an organization or a group or through an individual so those are the two so then move on to paragraph four yeah one two three yeah paragraph four so move on to paragraph four so paragraph four talks about uh, the different uh, the different payment methods that are required so individual member will be required to pay 1000 then uh, groups if you are actually part of a group you'll be required to pay 500 per person so that's actually uh, accommodating more people then the the enrolled members are categorized into three groups so again the the youth that are actually part of the system are actually categorize the subcategories down into three categories that is a uh, minus then uh, there's the middle group and also the seniors so those are the three groups then from there each group has its own age bracket so for example the minus must be between 12 to 17 years 
then the mean group must be 18 to 25 years and finally the seniors must be 26 to 35 years okay so next paragraph we'll be talking about uh, the items uh, the club has actually also has a, a store that has items so that uh, the users can actually purchase the items so this is actually just a broader view of the items that uh, the club actually sells so we move on here also when a member purchases this is actually the discount to be calculated so if a member purchases values above 10,000 kilo shillings he gets a discount of 5% so items above 10 percent gives a discount of five percent so i move on so the next part is uh, the stock lock so here the stock lock is required to maintain the records of items sold in the store and clock so this is like uh giving an example let's say like a supermarket for example the goods are down they should be able to notify the management to reorder the goods so that they don't run out of stock so the limit is 20 percent if 20 percent of its must must stock is actually no if the stock is a uh, at 20 percent then the stock lag is uh required to inform the management to reorder the item or the items if there are, there are a lot of items so here the key part is uh the 20 percent of the maximum stock level right there then move on to the game part now when the sports club is actually out there to game or make challenges to other external or either internal players so each game uh, for each game to take place the the players or the members of uh, that team or spoke that team are required to pay five thousand a five hundred kenya shillings for the facilitation then out of the five hundred shillings for facilitation twenty percent is paid twenty percent is paid to the patron so twenty percent is paid to the patron uh, then uh, apart from that the patron also the next paragraph clearly defines the roles of the patron so the patron is responsible for selecting the captain of the members so that is the role of the captain uh, selecting game captain for the members and also also arranging arranging for here yeah, facilitating events within the club in which are the other external teams here yeah, is the other the other role for the patron then move on to the captain of the team which should be selected by the by the patron so the captain will be responsible for collecting and returning various sports equipment from the store to facilitate the game then uh yeah that one so here is actually a penalty for in case of uh, any loss so in case of any loss of equipment of the captain each member has a charge so not one member but each member each member has a charge at the market value of the equipment plus 10 percent so you have to pay for example let us take for example someone has lost maybe a tracksuit in the in, in a in a club so if you have lost a tracksuit a tracksuit is 1000 1000 kenya shillings so if you lost a tracksuit each member should be contributing to pay for that tracksuit which is 10 or it's 1000 then above the 1000 you, know, you are also charged 10 percent so 10 percent of 1000 that is uh, 100 so the total payment should be 1100 which the team members will be paying so that's uh, part of uh, so i move on so here are the i usually say objective of the system so that is what you are required to develop just to highlight them now they are not visible no visible yeah. okay so those are the objectives of the system that is what you need to reconsider be referencing each time when creating the system
so that's all about uh, the overview of the cc if uh, any of you have any questions or uh, clarification about uh, the overview part then uh, feel free to leave the comment or uh, you can contact me via the contact details that will be in the bottom part of the video so let us meet on the next video which will be all about uh, the tables so we shall actually be starting with the read tables defining how we can get the the tables from these are uh, from this system uh, from this uh, question paper then from there we generate the tables and create them so that's uh, where we actually start we shall not just that but uh, i shall also be to uh, be conducting a different series about uh, the documentation part so we shall not only be conducting the practical part that is the access or the starting the system but we shall also be doing uh, the documentation part so this time we shall be doing differently so be sure to subscribe and uh, let's just meet in the next part